We're now in the experiments tent and there are so many cool things to play with. Before we get to that, which is going to be in just a moment, I just want to ask Meet uh, what experiments are all about. Thanks. So experiments are platforms that we bring out, websites. Each one is a kind of a playground that invites everybody to come in and send in interesting playful things that they're doing with our technologies. Uh, we have Chrome experiments, Android experiments, Web VR experiments, and AI experiments. They're all there, and new platforms will come out. And we're very excited about the things that people are doing with them. And a lot of them are open source, right? Yes, there, a lot of them are open source, which is amazing because I mean, experimentation is a wonderful way for people to play and discover new things for themselves. But when they share with the community, then everybody gets to see what's possible with AI, what's possible with web VR. And it's, it's really amazing. And it's also amazing for us at Google to see the surprising things that sometimes happen when people just have fun and play with these technologies. And uh, a lot of them are built by people who aren't Googlers. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a submit button on there and you can just go and send us the stuff that you're doing in the garage, the kind of passion project that you have, and you'll be surprised how helpful some of these projects could be for everybody else, especially we can get to get inspired and, and, and imagine new things with these technologies. All right, let's check some of them out. Uh, first off is Quick Draw, and I'm actually going to play. Do you want to like narrate for everybody at home oh, yeah. what we're doing? Yeah, absolutely. So, so Quick Draw. Oh, thanks. So, so you, you, might have actually, you might have actually played this game at home, but this is the multi, multiplayer version of the game. What's happening here, it's a machine learning game. So, the, so you're going to draw something, and yep, you're going to draw something, and the machine is going to try to guess what it is that you're drawing. And if the machine can guess right, you get a point. All right, so here we go. We've got Timothy, Adam, and Nick. Three, two, one, go. So the machine is going to tell them something to draw. In this case, for example, Timothy is asked to draw to draw water. And you can see over there that he's trying to draw water. And if, he, and if the machine can guess, if the computer vision algorithm can guess that it's, it's actually the handwriting API. If it can guess that, that he got water right, then he gets a point. So Nick just, I think Nick is killing it over there. He's drawing a train, yeah. Adam seems to be in first place with 14. After that, we got Nick Jonas with 12. And Tim, up, oh, here we go. We're done. Time's up. Oh. All right. Third, third, place. third place, Timothy, but it's okay. Oh, no, we're <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was the water that got me. Yeah. How do you draw water? I just drew the surface. That's the funny thing. Some things are perceived differently, right? Like people think water drops versus river water shapes. and. It's different every time. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, guys. All right, let's go check out something else. Yeah. Uh, there's something that makes music over there, right? Yes. Okay, so this is a really exciting one. Um, uh, the artist Giorgio Moroder, uh, who used to be the, or is actually, no, he is the, the, the king of Europop, created this amazing soundtrack. And what we've done is we're using the computer vision API to go and have the phone identify different items and then. The phone is actually narrating itself as a soundtrack to the music, telling us about what it's seeing, what it thinks it's seeing, and how it's identifying these objects. And that actually becomes part of the song. So it's kind of... That's really cool. I think it's better to just listen to it, right? All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go check it out. You guys Hi. ready? Perfect. All right, which one should we do first? Uh, we should do the guitar. In recognition with me. Take a picture and they'll tell you what I see. Here, here, here we go. I'm on it. All right. Is that guitar or not? No, no, no. Got musical instrument in this spot. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, what else? Yeah, 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 yeah. Among it. Looks like automotive exterior to me. I'm seeing vehicle. This is really great. Okay. Turn it on. Oh, all right. Among it. I think ceiling is what we've got. It's a banana, silly. Maybe not. not, not, not. All right, I'll leave this with you guys. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. That was really cool. All right, uh, let's try a couple more things. That was super fun. So this is satellite imagery. Yes, this is satellite imagery. It was created by an artist, Zach Lieberman, and the DAT team. 
So the idea, the idea here was really simple. What if you could search the world using a simple gesture? Right, and notice here how it takes you to different places all over the world every time you draw a gesture. So let's just give it a shot. Let's see where we go. Spain. So it's an, exper it's, a, it's an experiment, it's just, it's just a really wonderful experience, right? It's not like you'll be able to like, find your way to a specific place by drawing a gesture, that's not the point. The point is really, this is optimized for like, a really joyful and fun experience. Do you want to try the other mode as well? Yeah. So what it's going to do here is build this like, imaginary city built around these tiles. As you start dragging in a certain direction, it'll start building a road by combining all these tiles. There's about 50,000 of them that, that the team has processed using various algorithms to go and create this experience. And this is a Chrome experiment. You can check it out at chromeexperiment.withgoogle.com. Oh, no, sorry, chromeexperiments.com. That's really cool. It's really joyful and rather pleasant. It is, yeah, it's very meditative. I mean, you know, we've been standing here and, and seeing people play with it and we find ourselves just like, just like starting to just like, yeah, yeah, it's mesmerizing. <laughs> kind of zone out on the satellite image. Oh, ab absolutely. I mean, the world's a big place. It's a big place. It gets a little smaller when you get to travel it this way. Yeah. All right, I think we have time for one more thing. What should oh, we check great. out? Yeah, let's go check out actually a submission by a student, former student, he's graduated now from Denmark. Uh, and he's created a wonderful piece uh, using uh, machine learning. Very unexpected, interesting, interesting piece. <laughs> uh, so this is Objectifier uh, with spatial programming. And it's a really cool machine learning device that takes visual input, uh, processes it through TensorFlow, and ultimately triggers if this, then that statements. So you could imagine putting your favorite reading glasses on would trigger a reading lamp. Pulling the sheets up at night, getting into bed will turn all your lights off. Uh, it can happen on device. Uh, it was built by a developer Bjorn out of uh, Denmark, and if we had the proper European adapter, we could uh, do it all right within this physical hardware. There's a Raspberry Pi Zero in there, and then it can ultimately uh, connect to anything you can plug in for the trigger. There you are. All right, well, I was playing with this earlier. It was very cool. I was able to hit the button and do a gesture, and then like using that gesture, we could turn it off or on. That's awesome. So you wanted to say one last thing about QuickDraw. One last thing, we're very, very excited today uh, to announce that we're releasing, open sourcing, 50 million images. These are vector drawings where the actual ordered draw strokes of images that people have drawn in QuickDraw. It's available now for developers to go and train their own models on, which is very exciting. Researchers can go in and look at it and find some interesting patterns. And artists can go and do interesting and weird things and, and submit them back to uh, to us as experiments. So we're very, very happy to share all of this data with the world. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you for showing us around the experiments tent. Oh, absolutely. Thank you, Timothy. All Great right, Amit. <laughs> so that was experiments. Now, if you want to see this video again, or you want to see any of the other videos or recording at the sandbox areas here at Google I.O. 2017, head on over to g.co slash I.O. slash guide. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you at the next one.